Hello my friends, this is Moogle Master 102 Welcome back to Tales of Graces F. This is for the PlayStation 3. We've, as if you don't know this already, I don't have to say it's for the PlayStation 3, you should know what this is. Of course, anyway. So, last part, I, guess I played as Richard. Now to play as Sophie. It's <laughs> over. Like I said, like what, two parts ago? That I was going to try different characters? Show them off. Look, look, look. <sighs> Say, is it scary having amnesia? I don't know. I haven't experienced anything like fear. Wow, you're really something. My heart was racing just from having to face that Bryce guy. Was it scary? No way! Well, a little. I guess I didn't know how hard it would be to fight someone. Then why did you choose to fight? Well, Richard just looked so miserable, you know? I, I thought I might be able to help him out. I'm gonna heal up a little bit. We're a little low on health. Well, I'm going to play so That's what I'm going to do. Remember, you can switch your characters on the fly by... <coughs> basically, um... Present the directional buttons. Set the leader. Um, there! You can also, in, like in Final Fantasy, I don't know if you know, in the Final Fantasy games, you can actually walk around as the characters, too. It's quite handy, actually. See? It's always cool. But if you just want to walk around as Asbel and have Sophie just as the leader, that works too. Oh, wait. We can still play as Sophie. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. We're gonna play as Sophie for a while then. There we go. I think that's all of them. I think we're only able to play as Richard for like one fight, but yeah. So we're just gonna play as Sophie for a while. For the entire part, we shall. Might as well give everyone else some love instead of just focusing on one character. Alrighty. I'll show you what I got! Pathetic. Why even bother? Yeah, you're right. Why even bother? Doing these fights. <laughs> I'm funny. Yeah, th these enemies are actually quite weak. So let's not really worry about them. Let's just go back. Alright, cutscene time. You have disobeyed me for the last time. Lord Aston, please do not be angry with Asbel. He saved my life. Respectfully, Your Highness, your life was in danger only because he spirited you away. This is untrue, Lord Aston. I asked your son to show me the town. If there is blame to be assigned for our actions, it belongs to me alone. Richard. As you wish, Your Highness. I will forgive Asbel's role in the threat on your life. I am grateful, Lord Aston. But this is not over, Asbel. I told you to avoid Launt Hill, and you disobeyed me. And worse, you made Hubert and Sherry a lie to shield you. The search party was delayed for hours as a direct result of your actions. I, uh... You are confined to your room until further notice. Fine. I'm sorry, Asbel. I tried. That's okay. Who knows what he would have done if he hadn't said anything. Thanks, Richard. I fear I have more news, Prince Richard. While you were out, we received an urgent message. Your father, the king, has taken ill. You have been ordered back to the capital without delay. My father is sick? I'm afraid so. You should prepare to depart at once. As we cannot allow Bryce to remain unguarded, I will escort you back myself. I... I understand. Hubert, 
Yes, Dad? You will join us as well. You're taking me to the capital? Why does he get to go? Because you are confined to your room, or are you so thick-skulled that you've already forgotten? <laughs> Hubert gets all the fun. I'm sorry, Asbel. Don't worry, little brother. Have a good time, okay? Oh, okay. I'll buy you a bunch of souvenirs. He gets a vacation and I get punished. It might take a little while, but I'll come back to Launt someday. If you're ever in the capital, you should come see me. I'll show you around the castle. Oh, I'm definitely there. Wait, here. It's not a reward. I'm just lending it to you. When you visit the castle, show this to the guards. They'll let me know you've arrived. Gotcha. In that case, I'll hang on to it. I wish I had more time here, but I have to go. Okay, I'll see you around. No tears, my wife. This is in Hubert's best interest. I know, it's just... Hey, Hubert, take this with you. What is it? It's a good luck charm. It'll keep you from being scared, even when I'm not around. Hey, I don't get scared. That's enough, Hubert. We must be off. Okay. Farewell, Lord Aston. Young. Goodbye, my son. See you, Richard. So long, Hubert. Buy me something really cool, okay? Forgive me, Master Asbeth. Yeah, I know. Back to my room. If Dad thinks I'm gonna stay in here, he's crazy. No door can hold me back. I'll just tweak this wire here. And turn it like this. Still locked. Well, crap. I really wanted to see the cap, but I might have been able to find someone who knows about Sophie. You call that, though? Uh, Sophie? What are you doing out there? Asbel, what's the capital? Uh, well, the capital is the biggest city in the whole kingdom. There's lots of people there, so I thought one of them might recognize you. That's why I want to go, but... I want to go, too. Oh? Well, all right, then. Let's sneak out of here and go together. Quick, open the door. It won't open. Damn. Now what? Asbel, move away from the door. Huh? Uh... Yeah. Holy cow! It's open. It didn't open. You broke it down. Well, whatever. But we'd better go. The whole manor probably heard that. Okay. Well, there's no way to open a door. Just bust it down like Sophie did. Alrighty. So we're gonna go ahead and just leave then. It's funny because nobody realizes <laughs> that I'm leaving. Head to the capital, Barona. Well, easy way to do that. Just go to the East Road. That's what we all gotta do, don't we? Head the East Road. Well, we can't really buy any items for anyone. However, buy some apple gels. Manual, manual. A guy that would perform all about. Yeah, I kind of like that, actually. Instead of that semi-automatic bogus. Alright. Now I can actually control my characters manually. Kablamo. That's something you, I, I forgot you had to buy it. Totally didn't realize that. <clears throat> well, now I have it. I would not worry about the enemies here. At least from what I know. 
I mean, you can fight them, but they're not really much. Think of it as like to the point where you play RPGs, the more experience you gain, the higher up the chances you'll level up. So the enemies here are really just gave you absolutely nothing. So I just avoid them. And over there I think leads to a little cutscene, so I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Are you tired, Sophie? No. You're really strong for someone so quiet. If I'm strong, I can protect you. Wait, what? No, that's not how it works. I can't be protected by a girl. That's embarrassing. I want to protect you. Okay, how about this? We'll race to that house over there. Whoever wins gets to protect the other person. Deal? <laughs> no one can outrun me. Go! <sighs> you're... you're really fast. I win. Now I'll protect you. Oh, I can't believe it. I was supposed to win. I'm supposed to protect you. Next time, I'm gonna win, no matter what. Aspel, is Sherry okay? She'll be okay. We can't take her with us because her illness might act up. Illness? She's been sick since birth, but everyone gets sick, right? Really? I don't remember ever being sick. Someday I'll stop being surprised by you, Sophie. But you sure are weird sometimes. Weird? What does that mean? It means you're... weird, that's all. But in your case, it means I'll never get bored when I'm with you. Then you are weird too, Asbel. That just sounds weird coming from you. <laughs> uh. Well, we're almost to our destination. So, just goes to show that Sophie's just a natural uh, marathon runner. Maybe she should go to the Olympics one day. She can outrun a Kenyan any day. Racist jokes aside. We are almost there. I, there's really nothing else I can talk about other than the fact that, yeah, we're almost there. That's what. Uh, and we're here. We're at Bruna Port. All you have to do is just go to the East High Road and bam, you're here. What's going on? Yeah, hey, just a little kid running around, don't mind me. This is the burning deck for the ferry between Barona and to port and the port to Barona. Kids right for cheap. Oh my gosh, it's ten bucks. Or sorry, gallop. To go on a boat. That's freaking nuts. And off we go. And then it shows a little animation of us riding on a boat. And then everybody will start singing, I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! Look at me, I'm on a motherfucking boat! <laughs> I'm kidding. But...
Is this your first boat ride? I don't know, but I'm nervous. My heart is fluttery. It happened as soon as I saw the capital. <laughs> I'm too excited to be nervous. You are? Yeah, I mean, wouldn't it be awesome for you and me to jump in a boat and sail around the world? You and me? Well, other people could come, like Hubert and Sheria and maybe even Richard. We'd have so much fun, you'd forget to be nervous. And then we could sail around and try to recover your memory. That sounds nice. Hey, we're almost to Verona. Boy, are Hubert and Richard gonna be surprised to see us. And we're at Barona. So, yeah. There's nothing else to say, but we are at our destination now. And for some reason, I walked the opposite direction for whatever reason. Head to Barona, it says. We are at Barona. Life back in Mont. Aspo? Sheria? What are you doing here? I came here to see a doctor. I should have known you couldn't stay away, Aspo. So, what are you doing here anyway? I'm looking for someone who might know Sophie, but I also might swing by the Night Academy. Oh, and I'm definitely gonna visit Richard. He's the prince, Asbel. You can't just waltz into his castle and start yakking away. Sure I can. That's why he gave me this. A ring? Not just any ring. This ring proves I'm Richard's friend. Come on, follow me to the castle, and I'll show you what this baby can do. Alrighty. Jerry is accompanying you. She's not actually fighting with us, but she's accompanying us. So she sits there in the back and she's like, I'm useless. Nah, jokes aside. Uh, oh, should be going to the castle. Meet up with Richard. Obviously, the castle is this way. Oh, there's a billboard over here. Whoop. I think it went the wrong way. Barona Castle, I think, is up that way. Came up here for no reason. <sighs> I'm just being silly. Barona's up this way. There's a thing over there. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go up this way. You can buy equipment from here. But it's all the same crap. Don't really need it. I think next part we will go ahead and yeah. Okay. So what we're supposed to do? We're supposed to go this way. Nope. So that we find Richard. Richard has to be in the castle. So let's go talk to this guard. Hey, Mr. Guard. Check this out. That's the princess ring. You must be Asbel. The prince told- Wow, it really worked. So, is Rich- Uh, his highness busy? I'd love to chat if it's not too much trouble. I hope he has time. His father was pretty sick after all. I shall inquire after his highness. In the meantime, perhaps you could wait somewhere less conspicuous. I suggest a square with a Valkanes Creus. It's a central location. Besides, the Valkanus Creus itself is well worth the trip. You don't see a hunk of Creus that large just anywhere. Sounds good. We'll go wait there. You heard the man. Let's head to the square with the Valkanus Creus. Like I said, you heard the man. Let's go see it. If you don't know what Valkanus Creus is, I'll go ahead and hint you at it. This is right over here. That big green thing right over there with the compasses in the way. 
That's the Vulcanus Creus. Just gonna go up this way. Wow! So this is a Vulcanus Creus. I never imagined it would be this big. This thing is even bigger than the windmills and lot. It's nothing like any Creus I've ever seen. What's its proper name again? Glow... Glow some... Glowandi. It means the Green Mother. Hey, Richard! Oh, sorry I'm late, Asbel. Sophie? Sharia? It's good to see you again. Um, should you really be walking around by yourself? It's okay. I think you brought a friend. Ah, gotcha. The Valcanus Creus is both our kingdom's symbol and the source of her prosperity. It's our most treasured possession. But enough history. I'm pleased to see you all again. And how's your father doing? He's going to be all right. That's great news! Yes, although... Well, he's recovering. That's the important thing. So, what's your plan? Oh, I don't know. Maybe wander around town, see the sights? That sounds fun. You should come. I don't know. That... You don't want to come with us? No, it's just... He's a prince, you know? Well then, we'll just have to make him our honorary big brother. That's one way to go about it. Come on. Let's take our new brother, Richard, out on the town. Um, Asbel, people are going to notice if you're wandering around with a young man named Richard. Oh, right. So, what should we call him? Tiger Festival. That's perfect! <laughs> These two are really something. Please forgive them, Your Highness. <laughs> it's fine, Sharia. I love it. From now on, I'm your big brother, Tiger Festival. Sweet. I've always wanted to have an older brother. Our older brother, Tiger Festival. Exactly. Now, why don't you let me show you around the capital? First, there's a special place I want you to see. It's my way of thanking you for our good times and lot. We'll go through the North Gate and follow the road for a little bit. Where exactly are we going? <laughs> don't worry, you'll see. Wait a minute, I, I don't know about... Hey, hold on, wait for me! <clears throat> We're back. Hey guys, this is Moodle Master 102, and welcome back to Tales of Graces F. Today we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look around. Richard's already kind of like showing us around a little bit. He's gonna show us his little secret place. Might as well go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go over here, explore the city. Or head north. Actually, we probably should head north. Totally forgot about that. We don't go to that place yet. So I'm gonna go up north. Because that's how we do things. Yeah.
I don't think there isn't really much here, actually. <laughs> Let's just go back. I think where we were supposed to go is... Yeah. Let's go ahead and go back. Go ahead and take a look around, actually. Could head to the castle. Yeah, you head to this place that's locked up. No, no. This game is a jerk. Okay. That sort of business. We need to go down. Let's try that. <clears throat> it's the only place you could possibly think. You check out the Night Academy. Maybe Richard knows something about it. So, this is the Night Academy. Uh oh. Asbel, we have to leave now. What? Why? That knight over there knows who I am. What's this? Hello? Well, you're a friendly lad. Hello yourself. You there. What's your name? He's Tiger Festival. Asbel. That's an odd name. Don't worry about our brother. He's kind of shy. He, he gets nervous around other people and then he can't stand up straight. Please forgive him. I see. Exactly. It'd be mean of us to just leave him behind, so we let him tag along, you know? Such generous siblings are a rare gift. You must find your own courage for their sakes. Agreed? Y yes sir Take care as you wander the city. It can be a dangerous place for a prince. Farewell, my young friend. Was close. Thank you, Malik. You'll find out who Malik is later on. <clears throat> right now, though, I'm just gonna keep looking around. It's kind of what we need to do. So, I'm gonna go over here. Oh, pfft. went the wrong way. Dang, Mabbit game. Yeah, I think I know what we're supposed to do. Go to the city district. I wanted to check out the Night Academy because I didn't actually get the dialogue from there. So I didn't know who exactly Malik was at first when I first played it. Residence over here. Other things over here. Let's go check this place out. Still nothing. Yeah, I guess we can head through the North Warrant Road. There's a dog and a guy over there. Must be crazy. Alrighty. So we're actually going ahead and I think we'll just go through the North Lawn Road because that's all we can really do. We've already explored enough in the city. There's really nothing, so. To the North Lawn Road we go. What dangers await us? Find out in this episode. chest over here that I'll grab. More glass spheres. 
God. It's all I've gotten. It's nuts. Oh, nuts. Yeah, might as well explore. Enemies are weak here, so I don't bother with them. Beef! Mm. Go for some beef now. Even though I already ate. Beef is yummy. It's over in this residence over here. Resident roadside cottage. Go here and talk to the person over here. Do we have a discovery book? Yes, we do. Discovery books are the best thing about this game. You can explore and discover new things! There's a road up here. No, this is the wrong way. We're gonna go up this way, though. Ready, everyone? Take a look at this. Oh, wow. Wow, you can see so far. Lawn's not the only place with a great view. Sometimes I have the Royal Guard escort me here. All you see is land and sky and green. There's no pain, no suffering, just beauty. I see this and ask myself, why must men fight? Why do all arguments inevitably lead to war? I would give anything to build a world without conflict. But I suppose that's just a silly dream. No, you can do it, Richard. When you become king, you can create any world you want. My father used to say that same thing, but... Then what? You can't tell anyone this, but my father isn't sick. He was poisoned. What? Who would do that? There are many who stand again by my father's death. And when I become king someday, those same people will come for me as well. They try to kill you? Who are they? Let me at them! I'll take them out right now! Poor Richard. It's okay. I just have to be extra careful. If you ever need anything, Richard, you just come to me. Thanks, Asbel. I will. Come on. We should go back to the city. I really should have uh, went ahead and. Oh, okay, there we go. Down strong. Yeah. My apologies, I was having a little bit of technical difficulties with my microphone there. Okay, anyway. So now that that's all settled, sorry if I haven't been talking much. Really wasn't wasn't much to talk about. But yeah, so we went up to the hill. What's funny is that that hill kind of has a good resemblance to Lawn Hill in a way. I guess that's why Richard wanted to take everyone there. I mean, makes sense. But anyway, back to Verona we go. Check out the site. Um, I don't think there's much here. I'm gonna keep coming here because I know that there's probably nothing of importance here. Yeah. Check out the sites. Like the website? Totally would want to do that. I'm kidding. Maybe we'll find. Well, maybe we'll bump into Hubert and uh, Aston. Or Lord Aston, I mean. What do you have to say? Have you met with Prince Richard yet? No. Not at all, actually. I met some dude wearing a hat that looks like Richard. Is that close enough? Alright. 
Um, hmm. Oh, I'm just gonna keep. Ch oh, look at that. Oh crap! It's my dad. Was that Asbel? You can come out, Asbel. They've seen us. Uh, well, I guess it's time to face the music. Asbel? I don't believe what I'm seeing. Lord Aston, I must return to the boat and continue with preparations. Yes, of course. I leave it to you, Mr. Oswell. Goodbye for now, Hubert. I look forward to seeing you again. Yes. Goodbye. Asbo, what are you do? And Prince Richard, is that you? What's going on? Well, uh, you see... Never mind, it doesn't matter. I suppose I can forgive you this time. Your Highness, I pray my son causes you no further trouble. Dad? I must return to the inn. When you're finished with the prince, meet me inside. He's never this nice. What's going on? Wait, why do I care? Now I don't have to sneak around anymore. This is great! Are you alright, Hubert? You're being awfully quiet. Are you upset we've been exploring the town without you? Look, we weren't trying to leave you out. It just sort of happened. They did this on my behalf, but we should have invited you along. I'm sorry, Hubert. We spent the whole time trying to hide Richard from people. We had to pretend he was our big brother and everything. What about me? Am I still your brother? Huh? What are you talking about? Of course you are. Yes, of course. What's gotten into you? Maybe he doesn't want to share his only brother. Maybe he thinks we stole you away from him. Hey, cut it out. That's enough. You're embarrassing me. I know what to do. Let's take Hubert out and show him around. Perhaps you would like to see the castle. Can you really get us all in? Well, we'd probably have to sneak you in after dark. We can't use the front door, but I know a secret passageway that'll work. That's awesome! I found out about it from some old documents. I just tried it a few days ago. It leads from the castle to a building called the Royal Sanctuary. This is a great plan! Then it's settled. We'll meet tonight in front of the Royal Sanctuary. We'll be there! I have to get back before people start to miss me. See you tonight. See you later. This is gonna be great. I told you we could count on Richard. I'm so excited. Aren't you excited, Hubert? Sure. Okay, let's head back to the inn and wait for it to get dark. This is gonna be seriously great. All right, I'm going to have to cut this episode short, but I will see you guys next time for another episode of Tales of Graces F. You guys have yourself a good day, and next episode we will go ahead and hopefully conclude this arc. Uh, I don't know, because there's some things that may happen. But anyway, see you next time, guys.